Welcome back to episode 20 of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and just to recap from last time, we have just rescued Scizor, and I'll be honest, I don't remember what comes next in this game, to be honest. It's one of a couple of things. I mean, the post-game has some pretty great storylines, but they're all sort of individual. I can't really remember what comes next, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to be straight into it, and I think it's going to be a couple of missions first, unless we trigger any special events. Oh, hello. I think this might be it. Yeah, here we go, the Surrounded Sea. So, I know what comes next. And I'm not going to spoil it yet, but it looks like we're going to be in for a, a water-type dungeon. So, it's going to be tricky, this one. So, let's find some for it. Speak to her. Chat the video while we're here. There we go. Another explorer that we haven't heard of still with Sizzle. Alright, Surrounded Sea. Breaking the ice. Any rare treasures? Ooh. East of Blizzard Island, sorry. I mean, this is kind of reminiscent of like Stormy Sea and Silver Trench from the first game. A lot of water type dungeons in the uh, post game. Now, which, given that I always play a Syndicate, we're always going to struggle with this. But I'm still too arrogant to change my team. I'm pretty sure you can do this one with anyone. It doesn't have to be you and the, the partner Pokemon. But I don't really have many good alternatives. Not ones that I've used, anyway. So let's get rid of the score player. I think I just had him because one of the requirements for a mission was have a Poison-type member. And normally I'd never remember to do that, but this time I did. Um, right, one... Might just be the one Reviver Seed. Got two Jinsungs ready for flamethrower, but I think we are going to have to do sentry duty before we go into this, because, I mean, we've still somehow managed to not be KO'd at any point during the game, main game or post game. Special episodes, yes, but not in the main game, but I've got, my luck's got to run out eventually, I think. And there we go, there's my seed, so, I mean, we're on two seeds now for a main type fire Pokemon in a water type dungeon, so... Whether that will be enough, I don't know. Depends on luck, but I think we'll visit the Green Kecleon and give it a go. No, no more of either seeds, and I think I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm going to deposit the money first, because I mean, my luck has to run out eventually. I think pretty sure there's now two back-to-back water-type dungeons. So this will be a struggle, no doubt. But we're going to do it anyway. Let's go for it. Surrounded sea. My memory serves me correctly. This is just 20 straight floors, I think. I think it's the second one that's 13. Was that an auxiliary? It was. Yeah, this is going to be trouble. <laughs> it's a star meat straight away. I don't remember what that blink is. It's not restoring PP, because that's on goal. Uh, I'll let him use Ice Beam as well, why not? I mean, none of us have got particularly good moves for this dungeon. We need Groval! We need him back. Oh dear. That's alright. Of the water type dungeons, there's a lot of good themes. This one in particular is just very chill. It's not particularly <laughs> indicative of the difficulty of enemies we're facing, but it's still a nice theme regardless. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Oh, that's going to wake up. Let's go here. Oh dear. Not that one. Okay, fair enough. I'll allow that. Nice. Let's get in diagonal range. Uh, beautiful. Beaky three four. We will take that. I've had it all my own way so far. It's been 
Much the opposite of the previous episode where we walked in straight away. Didn't even move and we had a monster house. Oh dear. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it has to be that. Perfect timing. Right, I've got plenty of enemies. Uh, items that will get me out of this though, I think. So we've got Foe Hold, Petrize All Enemies, and Foe Fear. Given that I'm so close to the stairs, I'm going to go to Foe Fear. Suspect a few Pokemon will resist it, or it'll wear off before you get there. I'm going to run for it anyway. So I'm just raking in the XP while he can. There we go. Beautiful timing. Right when I said Monster House, we walked straight into one. Uh, and while I'm here, I'm going to do the Ginsengs, because I might as well. I don't want to lose them. Flamethrower got stronger. That's exactly what we want. So, Flamethrower plus two now, I guess. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> right, I think... Have oh, I got another Faux Fear, or... I've got a slumber orb, I don't have another foe there, but I think this is the time to use the foe hole and just petrify everyone. And they're all out of the way. So I've got. Oh dear. Got one more. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> so much punishment on this floor. Past couple of floors. Literally one floor ago. I've had everything my own way so far. Alright, let's do the gummy and then <laughs> hope we don't get any more of this shot. <laughs> there we go. Back to the peaceful music. <laughs> Such a juxtaposition juxtaposition between the tracks. Let's do me luminous wall. Is that a Lapras? That is not a good sign. Given that this floor is perfectly illuminated in this dungeon, do need to be more careful when walking into rooms. It's basically if you can see a lot of items or a lot of um, wonder traps, it's probably going to be a monster house. Oh dear, um, uh, yeah, I think, <laughs> get out of the fight free card, that one. Just do me max of it so just so I can use quick attack. Yeah, it being chased, but there's a stairs. Right, 13, I'm pretty sure this one goes to 20, it's either 20 or 13. Right, must be 20. Must be the next dungeon. Another water type one that's 13 floors. Well, I think the next one is 13 and then a rest and then moves on to the boss fight. Yep, cringed, so let Sam take over. Oh dear. That could have been a monster house there. Should have been more careful with that one. I suspect Flamethrower is now more powerful than Quick Attack, even with the not very effective debuff. Oh god. <laughs> Sam just loves a fight. I'm pretty sure I can now change his tactics so that it's... Let's have a look at it, because it might be worth actually doing this. So we've got Let's Go Together or Avoid Trouble, which I think... No, okay. I can't, I'm sure there's one where it's just like less focused on attacking. It's more or less the default one, but just... It'll move rather than attack, given the opportunity. There, actually. I think I've still got both Revival Seeds intact, haven't I? Mm. 
Nearly there. Yeah, that's filthy damage now, that flamethrower. Even when... I think Seedra might be dragon and water. In which case it'd be cool or effective. If that's how it works, I don't really know. But it still does filthy damage. Beautiful. Yeah, it must be, because Ice Beam was... Uh, it's normal effect. Oh, that's a lot of HP. Oh dear, right, um, I've still got another Faux Fear Orb. So I think it's gonna be half. It's gonna have to be that and then just fine. Do we have a quick orb? Got Warp Orb, that's only one Pokemon Slumber Orb, but yeah, I think we're gonna go for Faux Fear. And then just Lava Plume it up, I think. I don't know how many turns they've got before they become uh, normal again. It's just fire. I'm tempted to walk up and lava bloom with the ones up there, but I suspect as soon as I get there, they'll turn around and start punching me back. Let's just play it relatively safe. Oh, for God's sake. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I called it. Uh, I might just step on the poison trap to be honest. I'm poisoned already, so. I can dust the hydro pump. Nice, okay. Gummies while we're here. Might give them both to me now. I think Sam's learned a lot of these decent IQ moves already. I still haven't got stuff like that. Oh dear. Ah, uh, Seedra or Remoraid? Go with the Seedra and hope he doesn't attack it again. Ooh, we'll see. Level 14, oh dear, yeah. It was bound to happen, should have gone for the Remoraid. Alright, it's your fault, so you go on. Alright, I'm one seed down. Shit, oh dear, oh dear. Right, this is trouble, but I suspect it's now all the enemies from the monster house are going to come back and fight. Do I, so I think I let Sam take this one, actually. Let me use Quick Attack. Are we going to get any others? Okay, we are. We really are. We're going to get all of them, I think. Might be alright. Okay, we're all good. Right, any more monster houses in this one, but three so far. Let's get this bastard out of it quick this time. Oh, you want to join my team now, do you? I might actually keep him. <laughs> might be quite good. Given that he's capable of firing me out in almost one hit. Might be quite good for long range. I just hope he doesn't steal the reviver seat. If he looks like he's about to, I'll send him home. Uh, right, peace has resumed. Uh, this might be it, actually. Yep, yeah. job done. Okay, deluxe box, triple deluxe box. I'll swap it with my plain seed. And the final item, a wonder egg. I wonder what it could be. Good job done. Dungeon clear. So this one, nothing explained in the dialogue yet, but as soon as we wake up tomorrow morning, we're going to have an extra bed laid out. I remember this all too well. There it is. Egg we found at the Surround Sea yesterday. Sure looks mystical. Oop. Here's an interesting thing, like, why did we just take it? <laughs> surely if it's a Pokemon's egg, then surely there's a parent Pokemon somewhere that we've just stolen the egg from? 
Oh well. It's hatching. And it's... Manaphy. Such a cute Pokemon in this game. See, it's a baby. It doesn't understand anything. What should we do? We're now parents all of a sudden. Yes, let's go to Chatot. Fucking hate Chatot. That's why we're here. What is this Pokemon, Chatot? Youngster appears to be a Manaphy. There are only a few in the whole world. Travels at the bottom of a cold sea. And very rarely sighted. So cute. What do we intend to do with him? Uh, well, we've taken him away from his family, so uh, I don't know, play with him. Oh dear! Manaphy appears to be crying. Imagine he's hungry. How about feeding him some blue gummies? Luckily, about a month ago, <laughs> I saved up two blue gummies from the Craggy Coast for exactly this reason. So I feel like of all the playthroughs I've had of this game, this is the point where I most often stop, because I, like, I get this part, I go through Craggy Coast once, don't find any blue gummies, and then just think, fuck this, I can't be bothered anymore, and put the game down. But no, we've had two in storage for the past month, so... Nice and easy, no? Just got two things we don't need, and then job done. Actually, we we'll just might as well sell them. Never be bothered to open them. So all the things we don't need. It's good to me. I don't think there's really any TMs we need anymore. I can't think of a single one I'd want for me. Just make sure I've got two. <laughs> there's one. What? Nah, don't make me go through Craggy Coast. I swear I had two. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's two. Ah, oh, panic over. But yeah, TMs. I can't think of like anything. My only move that's kind of wobbly is Quick Attack. And then later on in the game, I don't really use Smokescreen, but they're still both very good moves. And then for Sam, I mean, his moves are all pretty good as well. I don't think I'll change any of them. Scary Face good against bosses, so keep that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with my moves now. <laughs> it took us a long time to get both Ice Beam and Flamethrower, but. Very happy now we have him. Manaphy bought you a blue gummy. Gummy. Manaphy's happy. Gummy, gummy. I will look after him for a little while. I'm gonna have to test it. I don't think I've ever said no in this situation. I don't know why. I imagine it just looped around. No! Come on, let's look after him. Fine. Do it. Chat up's not sure. Who knows what could happen? Moral dilemma, this one. Count on us, but... And there we go, we have adopted a Manaphy. This is your house. Quite like the way that it's sort of... The little bits over its eyes kind of look like mascara. So. I mean, it's just... A lot of Pokemon have so many like human features. I like the old Pokemon anyway, not like this new Garbodor bullshit or ice cream Pokemon. I don't know much about the recent generation to be honest. I think I got up to about Pokemon Y with the main games and then just thought this is just stupid. <laughs> Gummy Tasty? Gummy Tasty? Oh dear, not officially a beef. Very sweet part of the post game story. 
next morning. Manaphy's up and about. It's learning so fast, the morning's acting Sam already. <laughs> In the space of one day, he's kind of become more and more fluent in the language. Take him for a walk on the beach. Yeah. It's just very sweet, this man, I feel like. It's just so cute. Let's talk to everyone. Yes, cute. Look at this rare cute baby. Any TMs? I can't remember what keys do either. I'm sure they're useful in some dungeon or other, but I haven't seen anywhere that they would be used yet. Look at this cute baby! Cute little buddy. Let's go to the beach. Go to the beach, each. Let's go get away. What's he think? Kia kia. That's where you came from. He loves it. Very sweet. And we played until sunset. Oh, beautiful. It's very rare we get like a glimpse of night time. Like, you can never, I don't think as far as my memory serves, like play in the open world just during night time. Well, there's probably mods that would do it, but it's very interesting when we get a night time scene. There's very few that I remember. One coming up later in the post game that is epic. One when you come back to the past with Grover. Man, if he's gone. Oh. I got so lost in my narration. What will we do? Better go look for Manaphy, oh dear. Have you seen my baby? Have you seen my baby? Oh dear. Whoa, he's been kidnapped. Oh, it's nice knowing him. That is worrisome. No one's seen him. Well, let's check. Uh, I don't know, zero oil? Could have gone to zero oil. Just on my way to see how many he's doing. Problem, he has been kidnapped, presumably. Fuck, oh, chat up. Prick. Us two search outside. Uh, let's just check the beach randomly. Well, I can't imagine he'll be down here, but let's just check. Oh, he's down here. Oh. Manaphy, you weren't kidnapped after all. Not responsive. Oh dear, collapsed. Burning up with a fever. Oh dearie dearie me. Beautiful theme. I think this is the theme for the next dungeon, if I remember correctly. Oh no, is this Waterfall Cave? It is, isn't it? Very appropriately used here. It's growing a frightful fever. So this must be caused by being in the wrong environment. Annoyingly, Chatot was right. This was not a good idea. How are we supposed to cure him? There is a cure-all item known as Fire and Dew. Ooh. Go on, we'll see. Miracle Seed. Right. That will be our next dungeon. So, I don't really know much about... Like, main game-wise, Fire and Manaphy, because... I mean, I've not played... I don't think i played Pokemon Platinum. I think they're both Gen 4, I think. I've not played Pokemon Platinum since I've been on PC, so I've never done like the Darkrai or Cresselia or Manaphy events. 
On our next playthrough, and I will be able to. Give me some seeds. Yes, there we go. We'll take that. I might as well just buy all the gummies. Fucking buy everything. Yes. We have, once again, two Reviver Seeds. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> if we can get through the previous dungeon. I don't remember this one being as tough. I can't really remember. We should be fine here. And there's a midway point in this dungeon, I'm pretty sure. There is a boss, but there is a midway point. Here we go, Miracle C. This is a gorgeous thing. This is like a proper water one. The last dungeon was kind of water and ice in between. But I love this layout of floor. Just... Oh, see it. It's just kind of... So open world waterness, <laughs> And this theme goes so perfectly with it. This is like a kind of mysterious sea theme. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Manti. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, let's disable that. Nice feeling, we're fine. Right, whatever you do, don't walk backwards and leave me to take the punishment. Good boy. Oh dear. There we go. I don't think there's any th more moves we learn through the level. So many traps, man. I seem to remember Eruption being a move we learned later on, but I don't remember it being particularly useful compared to any of the others. <laughs> the traps in this dungeon are annoying. Oh dear. Oh boy. Good boy. We continue on. In my head, this dungeon's 13 floors, but that could just be completely misremembered. If it is 13, I've got no idea how many the second part of the dungeon is. So many cheeky, easy floors in a row. Remember that trap. I'm sure there's. I mean, you rarely ever run into him, but. Hunter? You've seen him before. Oh dear. I didn't want to see him as it turns out. Lovely move. What? Disabled water pulse. Hmm, did that wrong then. Oh, bloody traps. Nearly there, maybe. <laughs> if I've remembered correctly. Love this. I love this is Gen 4 as well. I seem to remember that being in the little dive area before. Uh, Sutopolis City in Pokemon Emerald. I need to go back and play the main games, like the earlier ones in particular. And my favourites out of them were easily Emerald and Platinum. Yeah, maybe that's a playthrough for the future. Pokemon Emerald 4 playthrough. Up on the big screen. 
<laughs> it's so ridiculous the things you can do with modern technology, because... I mean, at the moment I'm playing this on a 50-inch 4K screen. And it's, you know... It's a game designed for a tiny little DS screen. A handheld console, but... Yeah, PS5 controller, 4K, 50-inch TV screen. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. If we do do Pokemon Emerald, it'll be exactly the same. <laughs> PS5 controller on the big screen. When I move out as well, get an even bigger TV. Play it on 85 inch, 120 hertz TV. I don't, I don't think you can get DS games running in anything better than 30 hertz. Not properly, anyway. Imagine that Pokemon at 120 FPS. Right, this should be the last four, I think. Oh dear, we appear to be caught in a trap. Let's do the Relicanth first. Nice. I'm gonna keep my position because I want to stand in the middle and use lava plume. Oh dear. What the fuck is that move? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's unique to artillery. Just hope he doesn't use it again. Nice. Sound should happen here. No, not quite. Is that a water type move? Never mind. Is that it? No, okay. I entirely misremembered that one. No idea how many floors this is, so I didn't even map to it to get flying through of that. Long range moves OP in this game. Ooh, recruit. 46. Right, does it have agility? No. no, go home then. You don't have agility. Can't be on the team. What the fuck was that? Reveal Rock. It only affects Bonsley and Sudorudo. The weird shit they came up with for this game. Oop. Lovely. Oh, bloody traps. It's the annoying one as well. Take that one. Could be 15 floors. What's the best way to go here? Turning out to be a lovely combo, Ice Beam Flamethrower. Oh dear. Ow. What? If I try and move, I've got 2 in 9 chance of going forward or backwards and being hit again and taken out, so I think Orenberry has to be the one. Or oh, stun seed or fire seed. Let's do a fire. Bye. And let's bury. If we have one? Or not have one? Oh dear. Let's <laughs> just do the gummies. Hope I get bricked off out of this. Nope. Let's take it slow since we're on low health. Oh dear. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. Alright, I think that. Was that my last seed or have I got. No, I've got another one. Okay. Only way I could have got out of that one was to fire a preemptive flamethrower into the room, but. I can't do that with every room. Unless I have a whole inventory of map flexes. Oh dear. That's why you should just take every step, one step at a time. It's just like one step, five minutes of thinking time. <laughs> Another step. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, oh god. Big problem, though. So we've got turns Pokemon into an item. We can warp one of them away. 
I think because I'm confused, that's going to put Sam to sleep as well. I'm going to use it. They've all got non-sleepers. Sick. Do I have non-traitor? I do. Right, so let's lava put this bitch up then. Ouch. Oh, that's me. Oh no, Sam jumped in the way. Lovely. But he's going to die with this next move. Yep. Oh, that's, oh, that's not good at all. Right. I mean, I could... I think the best thing for me to do here is just attack and hope I'll take out both of them. It's low accuracy, but I think that is genuinely the best chance I have here. Missed. Right, I'm still... Oh, I think I've got a whop in, haven't I? Oh, that... oh, <laughs> I did not realise that happened. <laughs> Alright, this is an even bigger problem now, because Sam's not going to... I'm gone! I'm beaten! For the first time! Terrible. I think I lose all of my items there, don't I? Except... There we go, my luck has finally run out. I have finally been beaten. Ah, we made it so far through as well. If only it was genuinely 13 floors, we would have been fine. Right. i just got to go back in and try again now. Do I lose everything? No, okay, I only lose half. I think we keep the sky blue bow regardless. So yeah, <laughs> more than two Reviver Seeds were needed, as it turned out. Set number two, and this time we have five Reviver Seeds. Loads of Orin Berries, loads of Max Elixirs. Uh, no, one Max Elixir, but you know what, that'll do. Let's go for it. Okay, floor 16, back to where we left off, and we still have four Reviver Seeds at this point. <laughs> oh, I may just piss them away straight away. I've done this very slapdash so far. Just run straight through the whole thing. Ah, uh, he's gone. Oh no, still. I thought it was three turns, but. Right, now he's up. Okay. I mean, we can afford to be a bit lazy with how we do this, given that we still have four seeds. I'll do my best not to get KO'd again. Pretty sure this must be right. Can I not do anything? With it? Oh dear. Yeah, I think this is gonna be another seed, isn't it? <laughs> exactly how much health I had as well. All right, three seeds remaining. Oh, I was gonna do the same thing again. And I'm constricted. What can I do and what can I not do? I'm pretty sure I can't move. I'll use the quick orb. to move, I've wasted a turn there, didn't I? Ah, oh, he's attracted me! Ah! Uh. Okay, nice. I'm almost tempted to say no, because I struggled with that Luminion a lot. But we'll keep him for now. What's he got? Actually, no, we'll send him home. The only move I really want from a third Pokemon is Agility. For God's sake! That's another seed gone! I'm down to two. Unless I find a Cleanse Orb, but I've not seen any so far. Oh, fuck! No! No! Yeah. <laughs> and that's super effective on Sam. One. Oh, Christ! I'm going to have to take a step back, let Sam deal with this, and me do an Ormberry. <laughs> I'm going to have to start taking this carefully now. Okay, nice. Smoke screen, ultra careful. That was a bad move. It's got Hydro Pump. What am I doing? Oh, God. Oh, shit. No! What am I meant to do with that? 
<laughs> Alright, how many have I just got the one left now? I don't got any. I'm completely out of seeds. I started with five! How did I how did it go this wrong? <laughs> Alright, one step at a time. I mean, it'd be very poetic and ironic for me to not die at all up until this point. Whole main story, all of Hidden Land, Anton Portal, Tower, and the remainder of the post-game we've done so far, and not die, and then die twice in the same dungeon. Please be 17 floors. No. There we go. Yes, yeah, lovely. <laughs> that was all it was. 18. That's probably why I got it confused with 13. Similar looking numbers, but there we go. I mean, at least if we die here, we'll come back to this spot. So, it might be this second half that's now 13 floors. I don't really know. If I was going to guess, I would have said it was 8, but I genuinely do not know. Good thing is we've now got one revival seed back, because one was just sticky rather than used. Oh, stop playing this stupid game. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God. This is another dungeon of misfortune. Oh, dear. It's just silly at this point. Don't have a health one, poison. What the fuck? God. I mean, at least the only thing we can say dearly is that at least we've done the midway point and we've got the checkpoint. And if I die once, I mean, we've got no revivals anyway now, so I might as well just play it stupidly and recklessly because it doesn't matter. Oh, Christ. There's nothing I can do to kill that either, so I'm out. GG. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's nothing you can do. Unless you get to the stairs. <laughs> Have I got a warp walk so I can just teleport and hope? Nah. I'm out. At least we killed the Lapras that. Do I want this now after it's killed me? <laughs> I think we do, but. GG. Fucking dickhead Lapras kills me, joins my team, and then watches me die. You're a fucking dick, you know that. Show you how useful I can be, you kill me, you. <laughs> what a stupid dungeon this has been. <laughs> Alright, let's just continue onwards anyway. Yeah, twice in the same dungeon we've been KO'd now. Ah, my perfect record is lost. Let's disable that fucking parasol. Just body slam. Oh, Christ. <laughs> everything countering. Oops. Well, we've made it further than we did the last time. Nice, it's got whatever that um, nature is the one that water heals. Right, this isn't a bad little team now, to be fair. And there we go, with the sea bed. Beautiful watery clearing team, and there are the fire. They're very similar to the Manaphir. Oh dear. <laughs> There's a Gyarados. I'm sure I thought for a while that um, Manaphy was the evolution of Fire, but I think they're just completely unrelated. Apart from looking very similar. Yeah, so... Right, and I think all I really need to do here is take cover and just run. 
That's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to set these two to go off the close. Because they can both get KO'd and it not ruin the mission. And I am just going to run away. Actually, Sam, I need to set to thingy to scary place. That pretty, do whatever. I don't care. So now I'll just hang back here and fire all it. Set some back crunch. That's his down, that's good. Ooh. Brian hits monstrous thing. Do more of that before you die. Lovely. Job done. We got there in the end. There we go. Very good, very good. This is our thank you, and it's going to be a fire in view. Mission success. Let's get back to Manifu. Feeling better already? Oh, this theme still scares me. <laughs> It's meant to be like a happy theme, but that one time it's played just before Dust Nor drags you into the future, it kind of makes it suspicious from there. Right, Manaphy is healed. He's as good as ever. But I think we are going to have to send him back to the sea. It's the only way he's going to be happy and healthy. Here we see War for the first time. Of my word, I'll take full responsibility for raising Manaphy. Another emotional scene. It's made more emotional by the fact that Manaphy clearly doesn't understand what's going on. We're saying goodbye, but he's like, what? We're going, Manaphy. Good boy. And that's it. That's the kind of end of the Manaphy story. So we're going back to having two beds. We are no longer adoptive parents. The little guy's gone. It's sad, but it is for the best. It was the right thing to do. I'm sure Warren will raise him properly. Maybe one day someone will be able to meet Manaphy. And at this point... No spoilers. And there we have it. That's the end of the Manaphy storyline. So next time, I'm pretty sure I remember there is an exploration team that comes to visit. And in the next episode, we will team up with them for some cheeky adventures. And I will see you then. Peace.